Okay, you get it. You know that nature works hard to provide everything we need to live. Food, water, air. All right, whatever. You get it. But did you know what makes smoothies? Plays your favorite music and powers your apps? No, we're not talking about fruit, instruments, or even primates turned app developers. We're talking about energy. We use a lot of energy to do what we do. Think of all the appliances and devices that you use on a daily basis. Everything from computers to smartphones to simpler things like your refrigerator and all of the things that you have in your house that require either electricity or gas to run, that's power, that's energy. Most of our energy comes from burning coal, natural gas, or oil. The challenge is these are non-renewable fossil fuels. They take millions of years to form, we use them faster than nature makes them, and their emissions contribute to climate change. Fortunately, there's other energy out there, and it also comes courtesy of nature. Renewable energies allow us to replace some of the older fossil fuel power plants with newer, cleaner technologies. Solar energy and wind energy have a plentiful supply that is renewed over time and you're not diminishing the amount that's available. This plentiful supply of wind and solar energy actually comes from the same source, the sun. Solar panels collect sunlight and convert it directly into electricity. Other solar technologies use mirrors to concentrate sunlight onto a power tower to heat up water inside it, which produces steam, which turns a turbine, which generates electricity. Wind is generated naturally when air heated by the sun rises and cooler air rushes in to take its place. With turbines in its path, wind energy. This all sounds great, green and clean, and it can be, but only with proper planning and placement. Location is everything when it comes to renewable energy. With the availability of the sun in hot, dry deserts, that could make them good places to develop solar energy. So we're in the middle of the Mojave Desert. It's a place that's supposed to be barren and you can put anything here and it wouldn't really matter. Well, when we look around us here, this is an incredibly diverse desert ecosystem. And it all starts with biological soil crusts. They may look like rocks, but they're very much alive. Comprised of lichen, mosses, bacteria, and other organisms, these living crusts hold down soil, water, and nutrients. That stable structure helps creosote bushes to grow for thousands of years. And desert tortoises make use of the bush's root structure to dig their burrows. Deserts are far from lifeless places fit for unnecessary energy development. For every power plant that is built, there's a disturbance of land that has consequences for the natural environment. We want to think about the conservation values of that land, things like the wildlife that are present at the site, the vegetation communities, are there movement corridors for birds, bats, or large mammals that need to get from one place to another? For wind energy, careful siting and smart operation goes a long way to help bats and birds. Smart development is not just for nature either. Avoiding intact desert soils when siting a solar plant avoids new erosion and keeps soils in place. This simple measure can minimize human diseases like asthma and valley fever, which are caused by airborne dust and fungus. Carefully choosing locations for renewable energy minimizes harm and maximizes benefits. It's also really important to think about conservation of energy to prevent just building more power plants to produce more electricity over time. You can reduce the amount of energy you use. There are opportunities to use less energy everywhere. You can also save energy by using more of the renewable kind. What's so cool about renewable technologies is that you can actually get very hands-on with some of this technology. Because renewable energies are really likely to be a big part of the future of electrical production, it's important that people get to know how the technology works and how they can take some of that responsibility of producing electricity as part of their personal life. And remember, you can always use more of the good stuff. Nature works hard, and that's why we work hard for nature.